Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to members of the media. Um, today is a historic day. Um, just 12 days ago, uh, we were uh, hit by a hurricane, uh, Category 3, with gusts up to 114 miles per hour. And I'm happy to announce today that if you go out on the course, you'd never know that we were hit by a hurricane just 12 days ago. You'd never know it. Um, if you came up the day after, you would have said, my gracious. But my first thing today, my first order of business today, is to thank both Dennis Pilgrim, um, Jason Jackson, and Greg Mabry, uh, Stephen Lambert, their team, and all the workers here at Port Royal. You guys have done, in fact, uh, let's just put a pin in that, if Mr. Pilgrim, if you and all the uh, workmen and work ladies that are here, come up and join me, please. I'd appreciate that. Mike, you guys too, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what you see surrounding me today are some of the uh, workmen and work ladies that have helped to, uh, words, words are beyond, beyond expression, they really are. Um, what you all have done, uh, Mr. Mabry and your team, what you guys have done has just been phenomenal. Um, the course um, looked like it had been hit by a bomb on the 18th and on the 20th, they opened the back nine for play. Uh, as we stand here today, uh, the bunkers are about a week and a half from being complete. Um, and that's, when I say the bunkers are being complete, that's every bunker on the course has been relined and refilled. Um, all the trees have been cleared so, such that uh, our folks can play golf. And I cannot thank uh, the staff at Port Royal for the yeoman work that has been done over the last 12 days. That being said, um, I'd also, at this time, um, like to thank uh, Greg and his team again. Um, I understand that you've brought in 11 uh, young men that were uh, unemployed up until a couple of weeks ago um, to come and join the team and to assist, and I understand that it's maybe six or seven of them that express strong interest to continue working at Port Royal. So we hope that um, they have some success in that area. Um, at this time, um, before I bring on uh, Pat Horgan and Rose from the BTA, um, you, can, you can come and join us too if you like, get a little closer. Um, but I would like to thank all the sponsors to date that have committed to supporting this historic PGA Tour event, and for those that haven't heard me or Pat Hogan or anyone else say previous, this is huge for Bermuda. It's exciting as heck for Bermuda. It's a PGA Tour event. It's a PGA Tour event. And uh, the announcement today, I think uh, everyone's gonna be happy with. Uh, we're gonna have a local qualifier. And I think Scott, you and, and your team need to be uh, up here as well, uh, because you're gonna, I'd like you to say a few words. So you can come and join us. And Craig, you can come up too. But that being said, um, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the sponsors that have come on board to date. Um, I will, um, today marks about four weeks out, I think, Pat, we are. We're about four weeks away from the tournament. I would encourage any other sponsors to please come on board and support us. Um, we also uh, have, I think, about to today's date, 422 volunteers. Uh, we could still use another 100, 125. Um, it's an experience that I think that, as a volunteer, um, you'll never regret, and, uh, and they could use your help. So if anyone would like to come and uh, uh, volunteer and get up and close to uh, some of our current world best players and some of our future uh, major winners, I'm sure. Um, and I found out today we have two past major winners that will be uh, participating. That is Mike Weir from Canada and, of course, Rich Bean from the United States. They will be here playing in the tournament as well. With that said, uh, Colonel. Well, the Minister of Tourism and Transport 
talk very little about tourism and transport, and mostly, <laughs> and mostly about public works. So when I came here today, Jason gave me a golf ball. I'm not even sure I knew what to, what to do with it. I'm not a golfer, um, but I do recognize that um, certainly having this tournament at Port Royal is going to be a boost to tourism. And not only a boost to tourism, but a boost to all the staff that have already been congratulated um, for their work. Um, I know that there has been some um, interest in how we got to this place. Um, we're on skates at the moment in terms of being able to be ready for the 31st, but it looks as if we're going to make that without too much um, challenge or difficulty. Um, what I would like to remind folk is that this is a five-year commitment. And so we will be in a position to be able to prepare for next year from the lessons that we will have learned from this year, even though we had a, a limited amount of time. And just from talking to the staff, I know that they are keen um, to ensure that this is an outstanding tournament. And they take, as I said in my statement in Parliament on Friday, what is so impressive is that they individually take personal pride in ownership in making sure that this course is ready for the tournament and to make sure that it is a success. And so I commend and thank them for those efforts, those that are here and those that are still out working whilst we are here. Um, and I look forward to coming and seeing a little bit of the golf, even though I probably won't have a clue what the hell they're doing. <laughs> BH? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, uh, well, I echo the same sentiments. As what, Minister you, don't play golf? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you will be playing golf. We're going to have you in the pro am too, or, or you have five years to decide. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm here representing the the operators uh, and our team, Becky, who's here, um, and uh, myself and Bruno Vent team. Uh, but first off, I want to thank this man here. Minister De Silva for having the foresight to uh, support this event and seeing how 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 a great opportunity it can sure be is, yeah. for the the island of Bermuda and being a former player myself or and playing in the Bermuda Open here several times I really can't say enough about how special this place is and you guys have made it that way this staff here on both sides maintenance and club have pulled together to make this happen where 10 days ago we were yeah we didn't know it was going to go where we were going with it but anyway having said that i'm here to uh announce the bermuda qualifier for bermudians only uh event and thankfully to craig brown of the bermuda golf association and scott roy of the bermuda pga they're putting on the event for us 16th and 17th for, we're playing for two spots for Bermudians to get into this event. Uh, and that's, that's something that, again, the minister said we have to have in order for this event to go forward. From day one, when we signed the contract with the tour, Zane said, we want to have local participant, participation in this event. And I think that's going to be so special for this tournament to see, our, see you guys see your own Bermudians playing in this event and possibly jump-starting them to, uh, whether they're amateurs in the field or professionals, it's going to be a very incredible experience for them. And, I, and I'm so excited for, for Bermuda itself for supporting that part of the event, the, the local qualifiers being in the event. So that's the announcement I have to make. But my thanks to all of you guys for being here, and uh, thank you for having me. Where else would you like to? Thanks, ministers. Thanks, PH. Thank um, on behalf of Bermuda Tourism Authority, you know, we are very proud to be a title sponsor of this event um, for the, you know, the, the economic impact uh, as well as the global awareness that uh, it will raise for Bermuda. Um, but equally as important, I think, is the community engagement side of, of what it will bring to, for Bermuda. And for that reason, this announcement is exciting. Um, we're excited to have, um, to be able to to have Bermudians involved in such a high-profile event. Um, so thank you, and we look forward to supporting you, and celebrating those players when the decision is made. Yes. Thanks. All right.
Okay. Any questions? Oh, I'm um, Scott. Well, Craig. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon and uh, and welcome and thank you. Um, again, all the thanks have been said already for the Port Royal team. Uh, myself as the Bermuda Professional Golf Association and Craig Brown with the Bermuda Golf Association on the amateur side are really excited for this uh, this opportunity. It doesn't come about uh, every day and very often. And trying to qualify for a PGA events can be one of the hardest, uh, I guess, job interviews you could possibly have. Um, you know, we're probably going to have about 30 players fighting for two spots. And the top two will get to showcase the, the talents we have in Bermuda on the professional side and the amateur side. And I can, uh, I can say that the talent is extremely deep on the islands, and the players that are going to be coming for it are practicing hard and are very excited for this. So um, thank you guys for having the foresight to, to include the locals in this. And I know from our association, they're all excited and can't wait to be a part of it. So thank you. So, all right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, ministers. Thank you very much. Bruno Events team, thank you. Uh, on behalf of the National Governing Body of the uh, Bermuda Golf Association, I would just like to say thank you to everyone that's made this event possible. I think the foresight of uh, PH and the Bruno Events team to bring this event to the attention of Bermuda and then the minister for jumping on board and backing that. I publicly want to announce and say thank you very much to the Minister of Public Works and Engineering for assisting and getting the course back in shape. I know how twitchy it was a few days ago when we were looking at a succession of storms and now, frankly, we're looking in a position to be able to host this magnificent event at the end of October. As a fact, for the uh, local qualifier, this has been a great opportunity for our local players. We've been working very closely with Scott and the Bermuda Professional Golf Association to make this a reality. And again, this is thankful to uh, the minister of having that foresight to have an opportunity for Bermudians to showcase their talents. This really is for every child that's ever played the game that puts on a Sunday thinking they're going to try and beat their local hero. Today, we're hopefully going to see a local hero come out October 16th and 17th and then be able to showcase their talents at the starting line in the end of October. We also want to say congratulations to Dwayne Pierman for being an honorary exemption, as Dwayne has been a stalwart for the game over the last few years. So thank you very much. Once again, thank you to the Port Royal team, fantastic, and to the Premier Tourism Authority for being a major sponsor. Thank you very much. Any questions from anyone? Um, I, I have one. I'm sorry. I'm with you. I'm sorry to be kind. So this year we're, we're affording the opportunity for Bermudian golfers to get in. Is this going to be something going forward, or is it just this year? Absolutely. Yes. Right. Yes, it will. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I'm going to put my golf glove on. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Start practicing, Oscar. Yeah. All right. Colonel's going to be working on this. <laughs> 